my name is Dominic, I'm 15 years old and I have aquatic physiotherapy because I was born with a disability called cerebral palsy which means my legs weren't working when I was born so, so I have been in a wheelchair all my life. Dominic's condition affects all four of his limbs. He doesn't have any independence whatsoever, which has, as he's got older, caused more and more problems for him. He started aquatic physiotherapy when he was about two and a half. And it's just amazing. It's almost straight away, it was his thing. He you could see the freedom that he felt. And he took to it really, really quickly. He was a bit of a water baby. I think the main impact that aquatic physiotherapy has on Dom is that it has both physical, physiological and psychosocial benefits. I've known him for 12 to 13 years and in that time have seen him develop independence in the water, which is the main thing from a safety point of view, but also his confidence. It makes me feel like I've actually done something. I feel like I can do more than I can do on land. I can walk by myself, swim, by myself, just do everything in the water by myself. It really promotes my independence. He did land-based therapy when he was younger, at the same time as starting aquatic physiotherapy. But as he got bigger, he got heavier to handle. He actually physically outgrew his uh, land-based therapist because he was taller than them. He can do limited mat work but to actually get him into positions or to do exercise is very challenging for him and not enjoyable. It'd be devastating for him if he did, couldn't get into a swimming pool and have aquatic therapy because physically he needs it to keep supple, to keep flexible, to strengthen his legs. That's really the main way that he can keep his legs moving and keep them strong. Although he does have very mild scoliosis. I think if he hadn't swum and hadn't built his strength up, he, that would be a lot worse than it is. He would probably have had more surgeries. But currently, Dom's never been on any medication. He's very rarely in pain, if at all. And he's a healthy boy. And I really think a lot of that is because he's had that exercise of being able to get into a swimming pool and have aquatic therapy. Aquatic physiotherapy pools, hydrotherapy pools can be expensive to maintain, but also the long-term effects of not having aquatic physiotherapy can be very costly as well. So to decrease in mobility, increase people waiting for surgery, increase care costs for people who perhaps were independently living who now can't independently live because of their decrease in mobility. The difference that it can make is, is phenomenal. When I'm doing aquatic physiotherapy, it means a lot to me because I feel free in the water. I really do enjoy it.